click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see how shaping is done in a closed impression die. We have seen open die and we have seen forging but when the die is closed, how the shapes can be made. So, in a closed impression die, which is known as closed die forging, what happens in the diagram you can see there are three stages. In the first stage, you need two half, like two half dies would contain what? The impression of your final product, the upper section as well as your lower section. The material is being kept in between. The material would be preheated or not heated, it would be a ductile material. In the second stage, you can see that pressure is applied from both the ends. So the material gets squeezed between your die and in the third stage, the material gets the exact shape of your die. So these are three stages of a closed impression die making process. So normally what happens is this kind of forging occurs for smaller material. You can't make a big object. For big object, you need bigger die components. So it is not possible to make a bigger die component. You have skilled labors. So you would be needing big space and every other additional things would be there. So instead of doing a bigger die thing, you can use a smaller die and you can make a closed die impression product. So in this diagram you can see again the different stages of forging which is a closed die forging number one, number two and number three. In the third diagram you can see that there are rollers like there is a string you can say it is going on an object and it gives the shape of its outer edges to that objects. So it is also a closed die forging. So the basic material which can be used in a closed die forging are billets which are pre-shaped. It undergoes different processes under different die, your closed die, then your trimming die, etc. and your final product is formed. And how it is done, we'll see now. So finally what happens is, your billet which is smaller in size is kept between the two dies which has the impression of the shape which is to be made. It is then punched or it is then stamped and your shape is made. Finally, additional part can be removed by your finishing die. Like while squeezing, some parts may come out, like some part in the form of material, like it can splash out. So you can remove the additional part by finishing it and then more parts, like if there are some more parts, you can trim it and remove it. Finishing and trimming can be done by the respective dies. So for studying close impression die, we have to study a most important term, which is flash. So in this diagram, you can see after forging, like doing a closed impression forging, your material tries to come out from the side because the employment like your whole assembly is not fully closed you can use upper die you use a lower die but it is not closed the material tries to come out from the side as it is shown in the diagram so what is done to avoid this such kind of phenomenon is known as flash so to avoid flash you can use safety walls or you can use a collector which can be at the sides not on the upper side or the lower side on the right and left side of your meeting part like your closed die impression meeting part so the flash can be avoided by collecting the material in that and it can be easily trimmed or parted off and your exact positioning is done so for designing a closed die what you have to do? You have to consider the volume of the product. This is the basic part and the most important part. How much volume of the product is going to get inside your closed impression? Then direction, your flash. So these all things play a major role while doing a closed impression thing. Also, your final dimension as well as your load and energy should be calculated. Without calculating load and energy, like how much load is required for your compression thing, you can't get into your final product. Also, misalignment is a major factor which is to be avoided. You have to keep your dice at proper position so that they come together, they meet and no misalignment should occur while making your die. When I'll talk about the advantages, Material utilization are to the fullest. 
accuracy the menstrual stability can be achieved by using closed impression dye but the disadvantage of using a closed impression dye is the cost of the dye is more you have to design dye according to the use if the products are different different dye are supposed to be designed so the cost of making the dye which has to fulfill all the condition of a closed impression dye is more so in this way your closed impression dye is designed and it can be used. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and do subscribe our channel Ikira.